If you need help setting up your bit setter or just want a refresher on how to set up the location of your bit setter, well, this video is for you. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how to set up the bit setter location. Whether you're setting it up for the first time or resetting the location, like I had to myself, this video is going to help you out because I'm going to take you step by step on how to do it. And it's very simple. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into Carbine Motion and set up the bit setter location. If you have the bit setter and you're just setting it up, I'll link in the description below how to actually route the cabling and everything like that directly from Carbide 3D's instructions. So Go ahead and take a look at the description below if you need help with that. This video, we're going to go ahead and just set up the location of the bit setter. So once we are in carbine motion, I've already initialized my machine. I need to jog the router over to the southeast location. That's where they recommend to place it. So go ahead and jog the machine or move the machine, essentially is what jogging means, to the location closest to the bit setter. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to click on the jog option. We're going to do rapid position. We're going to go ahead and click southeast. Once it's there, we're going to click done. And now we're going to continue jogging to be right above the bit setter location. So let me go ahead and show you with the re wireless controller. If you don't have this, if you don't have this controller, you definitely need to pick it up. One thing that I didn't mention before is that you do need a bit in the router. So before you do this, go ahead and put in a tool that you want to use. I would recommend anything with a quarter inch shank, such as a quarter inch end mill or this 60 degree V bit should do fine. So that's just a quick tip. Going back to placing this right above the bit setter button here. Let's go ahead and use our re controller to bring it down. You want to be right above it. So I am now right above the bit setter location, right in the center. We're going to go ahead and go back to our carbide motion settings and set the X, Y location there. So now that our bit is right above the bit setter, we need to come back over to the settings options. In the bit setter section, we're going to enable the bit setter and we're going to select use current location. Once you have that selected, go ahead and click OK and that location of your bit setter is set up now. I hope this helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but make sure to take a look at the videos on your screen right now, and I'll see you guys on those videos as well.